Do you need to raise all the domain functional levels in a forest before raising the forest functional level? The answer was not what I expected. Something I learned back sometime around doing my third MCSE on Windows Server 2003 was that it was necessary to raise the domain functional level of all domains in an active directory forest before you raised the forest functional level. I was recently talking with a colleague about Windows Server 2025, and he assured me that he'd just raised the forest functional level of a forest without touching the domain functional level. I asked him about how he'd made that determination, and he said he'd done it in his single domain lab. So I went and asked five different AI services what they thought about the question. Is it necessary to raise each domain functional level in an active directory forest before raising the forest functional level? Here's the response from Copilot. Gemini, ChatGPT, Claude, and Perplexity. They all seem to be in consensus. But just because a chorus of AI thinks something is true doesn't mean that's how things function. Artificial intelligence only understands the information it has been trained on. What if that information isn't complete or correct? So I built my own forest with Windows Server 2016 domain controllers, which ensured that every domain was running at the Windows Server 2016 functional level. Into each domain, I introduced Windows Server 2025 domain controllers. I then transferred FISMO roles and demoted each server 2016 domain controller. I added one child domain running Windows Server 25, which deployed at the Server 25 functional level. Let's look at this lab environment. We'll start with PowerShell and query the functional levels of each domain in the forest. The Contoso domain, which is the root domain, is at 2016 domain functional level. So are the North and South child domains, with the East domain at the server 25 functional level. Let's verify this information again in Active Directory domains and trusts. Contoso.root, Windows Server 2016 domain and forest functional level. North.contoso.root. Windows Server 2016 Domain and Forest Functional Level East.contoso.root Windows Server 2025 Domain Functional Level Windows Server 2016 Forest Functional Level South.contoso.root Windows Server 2016 Domain and Forest Functional Level Now watch what happens when I raise the Forest Functional Level without raising the domain functional levels first. I click Raise. I get a note informing me that the change will impact the entire forest. I get a notification that the forest functional level has raised and that the changes are propagating out across the forest. Let's check whether this has happened. Contoso.root. Now at the server 25 domain and forest functional level. North.contoso.root. Now at the server 25 domain and forest functional level. East.contoso.root was already at server 25 domain, but now at server 25 forest functional level. South.contoso.root now at the server 25 domain and forest functional level. So I was wrong and my colleague was right. As long as all of your domain controllers are running the Windows Server 25 operating system and no down-level domain controllers are present, you can upgrade both forest and domain functional levels in one go without having to upgrade each domain manually. I've updated the necessary article on learn.microsoft.com related to this topic. And when each of the AI LLMs do their next training run, they will assimilate the new information that yes, under certain circumstances, it is possible to update the forest functional level without updating the domain functional levels first. 